Hey girls, I'm back. This is Bob and welcome uh, to my little corner here. I'm gonna open up another green Chanel for you today. Uh, chance Oh Fresh that I got for myself. And uh, it's the first chance in my collection. I bought a handful of these in the past close to 20 years or 15 years. No, 20 years um, for friends, uh, you know, gifts uh, for girlfriends, etc. And I wanted to pick this one up and uh, say a few words about it, which I've smelled this numerous times over the years, so I know a little about it. And just recently, I've worn it um, from this sample here. I've had this they made for me. So that's how I know it uh, to talk about it. And here it is, right here. This is the 150 ml bottle, which I got. I don't have a collection of these, so I don't didn't have to get the 100 mils. I just got uh, the most bang for your buck. And ladies, this was at Bloomingdale's $126 plus tax. And they got a little bit off for some uh, Bloomingdale's money. And... I'm adding another green one, a green Chanel to my collection, which uh, is nice. Now, I'm going to make a point about this, that this Oh Fresh, this version of Chance is the most, or maybe the most, Casual smelling and wearing of all of the Chanel's for ladies, and possibly all of the whole perfume line. This came out in 2007, yeah, from Polge, from Jacques Polge, yeah. I can get this open for you. Round bottle. The first round bottle from Chanel. Isn't that pretty? Don't that pretty? Um, signifying the, uh, the circular journey through life. I think I read that somewhere. Isn't that pretty? There's me. Come on, camera check. Track. There's the back. God, I love this. Um, I brought these out just, just to look. So, another green Chanel. Isn't that close? And there's the 19. That's the same food coloring. And then, which one's closest? These are slightly, uh, maybe these two. Is this one the lightest? I'm not sure. This one's maybe the most deep green. This one's like lime deep green. All right, that's not neither here nor there. Put these aside here. Not crazy about, I've never been crazy about these light kind of flimsy, no. Well, lightweight tops. God, I can just listen to that spray and, and uh, atomizer and I kind of know it's a, a chance Chanel. Excuse me. This gives you vibes right off the bat of, uh, of, uh, of blue, right? Of, um, what's that one from, uh, is it? The woman's wear. I can't. I can't think of the name right now. And they have an intense version and they have a men's version of the blue fresh one that doesn't. Uh, is it Dolce Gabbana? Light blue. It smells just like that. 
but uh, it's anchored with the typical Chanel patchouli, which gives it a little earthy. But for the daytime and casual wear outside to the beach, I can't think of a more better accessory to your body than this one right here. I recommend it. Um, as I was wearing this, and I've worn this like uh, two, three, four times in the past couple of months, um, I wasn't, I was disappointed a little bit with the performance. It, it only did like five, six hours. It did not push all day at work and it was gone. And I was surprised about that. And I don't think that's typical of the chance line. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I need to spray some more. Spraying this underneath your hair, on your neck, in your hair, around your whole body like a mist. Um, over your beach cover up, your sundress. I think this is kind of unique in Chanel because it's pretty darn casual. So like I said, and I apologize that I didn't remember the name right off the bat, um, light blue, the classic uh, perfume. Uh, it's just like that, but it's just irresistible. Light blue is, right? And that can be worn by men. Uh, I think of the uh, Versace Eau Fresh. It's kind of like that. The Versace Eau Fresh has uh, C notes just like this does right this i get sort of a not that it's in there i get sort of a sea ocean seaweedy type note in here which i kind of had to get used to um but then it comes back to chanel with its uh patchouli earthy musk of course this is a floral a fruity floral it doesn't smell like it looks in my opinion it smells more blue and light blue but, but it smells fresh and it's light the other chances they're not light don't take them as little like the, the the original chance they're heavy and they're nighttime daytime but more nighttime and then the uh tundra is not unlike it's impossible not to like that one maybe you don't love it and then they got the vive which i'm I don't have a memory of what that exactly smells like in my head. And I think I like the original Chance, the Parfum and the EDT. The, just the original, the first one that came out the most. And then the pink one, uh, besides this one. I think, but this is my favorite. It works well in my hot environment. And that's my point. Um, could this be the most casual Chanel of all? I think so. Compare it to the other ones, Coco, Mademoiselle, Five, Coco, the, and the Les Exclusives, right? That's more formal. And then they have the Les O, which I don't have experience. I smelled them once in Nordstrom's. I, those are light, I think, light and watery, but I don't know if you can call them casual, probably, but this is mainstream. Anyone can wear this from 14 to, to 80. But uh, I see uh, a beautiful gal choosing this, obviously. And, uh, and she sprays it, she pulls it out of her bag and just sprays it like a, a hair mist around her hair underneath here by her earrings and all over her body bikini or even and then wearing it into the night uh to dinner not to uh not to a, a nice dinner or a formal or a theater event <clears throat> or the uh symphony you know you have other chanel's for that but let me know what you think about me declaring this the most uh, casual Chanel there is, especially on the lady side. Um, 
go to war, Mademoiselle. All the less exclusives, yeah, I think so. And I'm really happy to have this round metal bottle with the metallic edge, that's awesome. But like I said, my only uh, drawback of this was it died. Maybe I'll uh, leave a comment saying that I was mistaken, but I'd say about five to seven at most hours. So good performance at at best, I think. The siage is great, I, and the, um, the wake that you get from this and uh, the projection is is probably good, good to very good, you know, in the first hour or so. But the longevity, I was surprised by because it, it uh, I didn't smell it at work after a certain time. There it goes, it clicks in. Um, I don't know if you have this. I'm glad to have this in my in my green collection of Chanel. And once again, I don't know, they certainly know how to put that coloring in there and uh, make a beautiful green color. And of course, the 19. So that's my little stint on uh, my first chance bottle in my collection, a five ouncer. So I recommend getting a five ounce because it's more bang for your money. And I think this can be sprayed liberally. Um, it's not, it's totally opposite of number five, pure perfume where you just dab and go like this. So um, it's my favorite of the chance line smelling and smelling off a gal. And I've smelled these off of uh, so, a handful of friends in the past and I love it. I've gotten them as gifts. This is the first time though I bought this one. So let me know what you think. I appreciate you uh, gathering with me here. Showcasing uh, the best perfume brand in house for women, I'll just, for women, hands down uh, in the world, right? In a majority sense you know, 51%, whatever. Chanel, in my opinion, is uh, the best perfume for women in the world. And uh, of course you got other houses that are just as good and close, but Chanel's the best. For men, I think they lack, and they have been lacking in, in the past years, and a, a lot of consensus with that. But you can't, I don't expect everything. And uh, you talk about, they can't, what, you want a team to win the Super Bowl or the World Series every year, so they're on top. But, you know, everyone knows that the Yankees, I don't know, are the best in history, right? But maybe lately they've sucked. So that's my point. Um, I don't, uh, I don't hold them uh, to perfection. And um, I just take it as a whole. I expect them to keep on coming out with some good or great stuff like Dior and Chanel. But um, I like ex getting to know the uh, classics, the old ones, more and more. I don't need to get the new stuff. But if you're judging the new stuff, that's a new, another story. But Chanel number one, especially for the ladies. And give me a comment below. Tell me if you like... Mademoiselle Chance and have you worn it my recommendation is to definitely get a sample of this and wear it wear it out this summer that's the point to uh, in the afternoon to a birthday party or to the beach you know the deal okay thanks a lot for watching aloha and see you later.